How to build shed doors make garden shed doors under $100. Yes, you can make garden shed doors for under $100. If you stick with simple construction materials and methods, it's surprisingly affordable. Here's a breakdown of my costs. 2 times 6 by 8 boards, 6, $27.42. 1 fourth of an inch sheet of plywood, $27.72. Cord of paint. $21.95. Pocket screws $5.47. Total, $82.56. Cutting the boards. I used 3, 8 foot long, 244 centimeters, 2 times 6 boards for each door. These are actually 1.5 inches by 5.5 inches or 38 millimeters by 140 millimeters. I bought construction grade Douglas fir boards. Like 2 by 4s, the long edges are rounded over a little. In order to get a nice tight fit when assembling, I like to cut the edges off of each board to square them up. I cut the four long side pieces to size using my miter saw. I measured the first one, then used it to line up and measure the rest. This is a much better method for making repeated cuts, rather than measuring each one with a tape measure. To cut the 8 short pieces, the horizontal frame boards, all the same length. I set up an extension fence on my saw and clamped the stop block to it. Then I butted the boards up to it so they all cut identically. Assembly. Using my Craig jig. I drilled two pocket holes in ends of all the short pieces. I began the assembly by screwing the top and bottom pieces into place. To position the two middle boards equally apart from each other, I cut two scrap boards to use as spacers. This is much more accurate than trying to measure and mark where each board should be. Routing Profiles I used my router to cut a rabbit, ledge, along the inside edge of each of the frames. For this, I used a rabbit bit. On the front side of the doors, I routed out a decorative Roman OG profile. The panels are one fourth of an inch, six millimeters, plywood. I cut these to size, and then glued and tacked them into the back side of the doors, resting on the rabbits. Installation I lined the doors up to where the old ones were, marked the hinge positions, and screwed them in place. This can be a time-consuming process. Dealing with hinges is one of my least favorite things. Once everything was working properly, I removed the doors and painted them with the quality exterior latex paint. It's important that all surfaces get painted in order to protect the wood from the weather. Making the latch. On the inside of the right hand door. I installed a sliding bolt for keeping it closed. When extended. The bolt catches behind the door frame. To make the latch, for front. I found an old steel L bracket and bent it into a square shoe shape. I screwed this onto the right hand door. On left door. I attached a board with a screw and a lock nut so it can swivel freely. And the door is ready to use. I completed this work in less than 3 hours because I had all the tools and materials ready with me before starting the work. Here are a few more door designs. To get more than 12,000 storage shed designs and plans, please click the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.